in praying the Lord's Prayer, many of us do not really understand the Father's heart. Simply because many of us, we do not know how God, as our Father, loves us. In truth, many of us do not have loving parents who care for us, who looks after us. So our experience of fatherhood or motherhood might not always be very edifying and our thoughts of our parents might not always be very assuring. If we don't understand and we never experience the unconditional love of our parents, how can we ever understand the Lord's Prayer? In praying the Lord's Prayer, we must understand that our parents are imperfect. No parent is perfect in love. Only God, our Father. But parents, of course, they try to imitate the love of the Heavenly Father, albeit imperfectly. And so very often, a parental upbringing of their children is also dependent on what kind of upbringing they themselves had received. Nevertheless, we must really recognize the fact that all parents, they try to be good, they want to love, even though their love is not always perfect. Today, when we pray the Lord's Prayer, we can come to understand the Father's heart. When we ourselves have become parents, then we will understand more deeply the Father's unconditional love and mercy. And the word Father is very important. It reminds us that God is our Father. There is intimacy, but He is not just a friend. God is more than just a friend. As a father, we also have to give due respect. So when we call God our Father, it is with intimacy, with trust, and with respect that the Father will show us the way, that the Father will somehow protect us. That is what it means to be a child of our Heavenly Father, to realize that He will always protect us just as our parents will protect us. And yet there is intimacy there is no fear, there is respect, there is reverence definitely, which is different from that of a platonic friendship. And we are told that your name may be held holy. The name is not just how we distinguish one person from another. The name of God is holiness. That means it is compassion, it is grace, it is love. So when we say your name will be held holy, and this is where we begin to understand that the holiness of God also means his compassion, his forgiveness. Because every father wants his child to be one with him. So long as they repent, everything is forgiven. And secondly, we are called to pray also for God's coming of the kingdom. The kingdom, of course, is really the rule of God's love and mercy in our life. Seek first the kingdom and all these other things will be yours. So to pray for the kingdom is really to make the Father's rule of love, mercy and compassion something that reigns in our life. And again, to ask God for our daily bread. Again, it is a reminder for us to really recognize that God is the one who provides all our needs. And it is to Him that we turn. It's the bread that gives us life. And therefore, this God who is our provider, He will ensure that we have all that we need. And finally, we are told about the importance of forgiveness. Uh, forgiveness is really the heart of God's children because that is the name of God. As far as God is concerned, He wants us all to be safe. He wants us all to be united as one family. And that is why God comes 
to redeem us all. And no one is outside the ambience of God's love because God is one and he's the father of all.